Hello everybody, this is Carl from S1 Studios and today, um, this is a fairly short tutorial I just wanted to do a tutorial on when you're making big templates in Cubase using V Pro 6 okay, Vienna uh, Assemble Pro 6 and this is Cubase 9.5 and the problem that I had is I went to a lot. I was looking on YouTube for template ideas, okay. And there's lots of really good template ideas out there, and there's lots of them that use VE Pro as well. Um, however, I was running into a problem. This template here is basically uh, so we've got you've got two um, instances, okay. So I've got one for strings and one for Project Sam Orchestral Essentials one. Uh, the library is irrelevant, it doesn't matter what the library is. Uh, but I was finding that when I first did a project, I'd only got 16 channels in Vienna. And if you go to any of these channels here and look, you'll see that port A has 16 channels, but you can't use port B, C or D. Now this is a um, built-in thing for uh, the Pro. If you use it standalone, you have all the channels. But because I'm using it as a server with Cubase being a slave, you only get 16 channels. And of course, this is a problem because if I want all the articulations, well, there's going to be more than 16 articulations uh, to a library. And th there always is. And so I was scratching my head about this for a while. Um, a lot of people glossed over how to do it. So I'll show you what I did and I'll show you. Um, what I think is, is one of the ways to do this. When you are working with VPro, uh, you've obviously got your settings and it allows you to have um, as many um, MIDI channels as you wish. Okay, So I set this up to 32 channels per instance and you've got 32 audio channels per instance. Remember that your audio outputs are also scaled to what you can actually do. So there's no point in having like 300 audio channels if your um, sound hardware doesn't support it. Uh, I may be wrong there, but that's okay. You can prove me wrong in the comments below, and I don't mind that. So, so if we use this one, for example, 16, there is 10, 10 MIDI channels here. Uh, in Woodwinds, there is, how many is there? Seven. So as you can see, we're already way past 16 channels. Okay, strings. So the only way to do this, uh, let me just purge all these samples. Uh, a lot of good uh, good uh, people on YouTube have also mentioned how to create massive templates that don't take up much space. And the idea is that you load all the samples in, but you then purge them because as your door um, initiates the sound it will load it into RAM through contact so you don't need them all in RAM so um, so what happens is I'm setting out each one of these on their own output channel okay and um, I'm also making sure that they're using a separate MIDI port okay each MIDI port will give you 16 channels and the way to do that is at the top, you'll have this bit here. And as you can see, because I've allocated 32 channels, it allows you to use one channel with 60, um, one MIDI in, shall we say, but give you all 16 out. So rather than individuals, you just put all in there and change that. So for strings, for example, that's using MIDI in two. For brass, it's using MIDI in three, blah de blah de blah de blah, because I've specified 32 MIDI ins. And that means that you can have, well, 32 um, instances of contact, so to speak, in one project, each one with 16 channels available to it. So, well, how does that work? Okay, so, well, when you go to Cubase, I'll just drag this over here. Um, and as you can see, this is a very, very early template. I've, uh, my last one took up so much space that I thought I'd redefine it slightly. So we'll use this one here because this is um, this is one I'm working on at the moment. And as you can see, it's got um, the 
the MIDI channels in here. But when you look at each one, so use full orchestra, sorry, this one here, it's using, you select the 02 because it's project 02. Oh, I'll just move this over here. This is 02 up here. And, but it's using MIDI in one, all right? Because this is the full orchestra one. So this is this one here. Okay, so that's using MIDI one. The strings are on MIDI two. So again, back to Cubase. And if we go to Strings Arco, which is the first patch, you can see it's using Project 2 here. Let me make this bigger. MIDI and 2. And by doing this, you can basically have all of your articulations, or as many as, you know, I mean, up to 16 per instrument, so to speak, um, in Cubase. And it will play them flawlessly. Um, there is a, um, there's a reason I've got the audio down here. Um, when you when you use Cubase, obviously, and using the virtu virtual instruments, you have a metric ton of channels up here. And when I'm playing the instrument, I want to see what what the output is anyway. So the, the easiest way to do that is to drag the audio channel down to this one. The other thing I'm doing is I'm using one channel for each instrument's articulations, and I'm using the send. Sorry, I just got rid of that. I do apologise. Uh, we use the full orchestra. I'm using the send to uh, my one of my um, reverbs here, and that's using QL spaces from east west. Um, so I can just send the amount I want. But ascends and uh, side chaining and all the other different things you can do with channels like this are for really for another tutorial. What I wanted to cover here is how to get more than sixteen channels out of V Pro without having to create um, one separate project for each individual um, instrument that you've got so you can have 16 articulations which is a hideous waste of space so I hope this has helped if it's too confusing let me know uh, there's comments and things you can do um, happy music making I'll speak to you soon